thank you all to support Taiwan's SBO market so that in the past three years, we can enjoy a very significant growth. As I'll be spending no more than seven minutes as requested by our moderator, I'll, I'll start by giving you a, a basic structure of our market. Uh, if you were a borrower, uh, you, you, you have three alternatives in our market. You can borrow directly uh, from our securities firms over the company. And another uh, alternative is that you can make deal uh, with the lender and assume counterparty risk uh, via a TWSE's SBL system. And the other alternatives is, is that uh, when you uh, borrow uh, majorly from local lenders, you are supposed to have uh, TWSE interposing itself as the C CCP for you and uh, manage the collateral and guarantee the deal. Uh, on the flip side of the coin, if you were a lender, you can you can lend your securities with or without TWSEs uh, acting as CCP. And uh, a few snapshots of, about uh, last year's uh, market activity. Uh, the Thai X index get about nine percent last year, but the unlong balance for the SBL trades uh, grew uh, a much more significant percentage of around thirty six percent. Again, thank you. That's a that's a monthly breakdown for our for our negotiate trades and the competitive bids and the the brown part is the monthly monthly show sale amount because we uh, the Taiwan Stock Exchange on the one side uh, provide as uh, a centralized uh, trading market on the other side we provide the uh, SBO platform so we can have all the information concentrated and give give uh, a greater transparency to our market participants and provide some statistics. And as for as long as uh, market shares is concerned, it is quite stable over last years, except on the lending side, uh, the uh, customer trust uh, <coughs> took away from the government fund about 4% of market shares. And before I came here, I formed three of our major government funds manager, and they informed me that they stand ready to lend their securities, and they would like to have you to contact them. And I tried my best to help you to understand our markets in the last year. So what I do is that I group all the uh, related stakeholders in our markets into five groups and put them in the re relative position according to two elements. One is the monetary benefits they gained from our SBO market. And the other side is the degree of satisfaction about our regulatory regime. So we have the market regulator on the one side because they have the dominance over the regulatory regime. So supposedly they, they are satisfied with their regulatory regime. But, but on the other side, especially most of you who are the direct SBO <coughs> participants, you might not be very satisfied with our regulatory regime. But we, as the exchange, we sit in the middle of the different stakeholders. What we try to do is to act like a liaison, uh, to listen, uh, to listen to the stakeholders on the left hand side, and speak to the stakeholders on the right hand side. Hopefully, to educate them about the SBL's function. So. Last year, uh, although uh, Taiwan's SBL market enjoyed 
significant growth. But the situation in Taiwan for we in the exchange is quite difficult because uh, at the end of uh, 2011, the market downturn before the general election. So SBL is equal is equal to be short selling and equals to be the foreign investors, institutional investors, and equals to be bearish about the market. So SBL became the scapegoat of the market downturn. And we try very, very hard to turn around the misconception of our uh, local investing community, our regulators. So what I do is that we, 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 we publish articles, uh, magazines, and we do educa educational program around Taiwan, and we wrap up all the findings of our statistics and, and have a report. On top of that, we also commissioned an uh, empirical study about the, uh, if the, the impact of SBL trading, especially the SBL show sale on the market quality. So the report is to deal um, main. So the authors of the, 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 the report would like to talk to some of you if it can be arranged. So top concerns, we, we try to listen to you and we gather that there are four major uh, concerns about you. And the first one is about the financing trade. I'm happy to inform you that uh, because of our efforts and our colleagues, the ambiguity about financing trades is totally <laughs> removed. So you are okay to go ahead to, to, to do the financing trades, to use your equity as collateral to, 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 to borrow money from the cash provider. And the other one is the correct collateral ratio for competitive bidding trades. It is, it is 140, uh, which is much higher than the average of 115 um, in, in, the, in, the, in the regional market. And we are informed that from our visitors, especially those from Credit Suisse and uh, uh, UBS, in the later part of, of last year, that the 140% is too expensive for borrowers, especially under the Basel III, Basel III regime. And the local lenders are disadvantaged with borrowing lenders. But what we do is that we communicate the message to the chairman of the uh, Borrowing Brokers Committee. And he proposed in their committee. And the committee's decision is to discuss with the, broker, the local brokers committee. But the local brokers committee reject their proposal. So because the local brokers have vested interest in the margins trading, whose uh, maintenance ratio is also 140. So they, they want to have a level playing field among SBL and the margin trading. So that is not workable. But this one is workable. The show selling limit. Everybody enjoy the liquidity. So no matter they are farming brokers or uh, local brokers, they have the uh, joint interest in, uh, to remove the show selling limits. And I would suggest personally that you can work together, maybe Martin and his colleague in Citibank, who has a very strong standing. In, in Taiwan, so so that might be workable. And the other one, I'm sorry, is a regulatory inquiry. I I I felt so so sorry that you from time to time receive calls from custodians who was informed by the exchange or the regulator to check up your strategy. But what what we do in Taiwan is that first of all we communicate the message very clearly to our regulators. According to IOSCO's recommendation, they are supposed to understand the SBL market and support the improvements of the market. 
and they need to monitor uh, potential abuses associated with the SPO market. But they still have concerns about market stabilities. So uh, their uh, pressure build up, especially when the market goes down significantly. So the daily practice in our exchange is that we will check uh, each of every uh, major uh, borrowers uh, overall exposure in Taiwan, including the cash market and derivatives market, to see the overall bearish or bullish position of your, your status. And we'll single out the, the ones who have significant uh, concentration or significant value in the market. And we apologize. That would be that might be a uh, a daily routine of our job in, in the Taiwan Stock Exchange. But given that you earn a very lucrative profits from our market, I would say be patient. We'll try to change the situation. With that, I conclude my presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, and lastly, uh, Mr. Sanjay Das from India.